Sarah, it's Mike with Real Life Photography. Uh, thanks for sending over some images. And I sat down and edited each one. Um, all five have been edited with LXCN, the newest uh, Lauren and Chris preset uh, from Tribe Archipelago. So, um, I'm, I, I don't have time really tonight to go through and just make a video of each edit and show you how I edited each one. Um, I might be able to find some time if that's what more that what you're looking for. Um, I might be able to find some time in the next couple of weeks or so, but just you'll just have to shoot me a message. Um, and I, like I said, I can I can show you how I edited each one of these. But let me show you kind of the before and after of each one of these. We'll take it into develop. And for this one, so I tried several different presets, but then I went back and saw your comments that you were interested in LX, LXC or LXCN. And uh, so I, I went back and, and did this. So this is the import, the original image. Uh, I tried several different uh, different presets, you know, going from each one, each of the black and whites. And I chose a black and white for this particular image. It's just, um, she was sitting in the shadows um, and I could not get the skin tones to look right. Uh, maybe if I would have played with it a little bit longer, I, I could, but you, I mean, she's surrounded by, you know, this orangish hue coming off the, off the floor, the cabinets got some orange in it, um, and so on and so forth. So I decided to go with the black and white on there and ultimately chose, uh, LXC in 06. I straightened the image a bit. Uh, I reduced the grain ultimately, and because the image was shot with a seven, uh, 1600 ISO, um, I chose to uh, add a little luminance as well. So, and that smoothed out some of that grain. Not overly too much, but uh, just enough, I think, to, to make the image uh, a little bit better. So, that was LXCN 06. Uh, within that, that preset pack, you get two black and whites and four uh, color presets. So here's the next one, which I, I, I really like this image. I think it's, I think it's perfect. And this, this image was essentially one click. So uh, I, once again, this is the original. And I actually tried uh, Chelsea Cronkite's preset on there, which I think turned out really nice. Um, it needed to have some adjustment on the, the tent. I, but just because you wanted to see LXCN, I, I went ahead and went back to LXCN. So that was the last one. I upped the exposure a bit. And then I clipped the whites down a little bit and removed the grain. And I think I like how this turned out. The tones are nice. The, the snow, it makes everything really pop. There's plenty of contrast between the subject and the, and the background. So I really like this image. This image was probably my favorite of the ones that you sent me. Next, we I chose to go with another black and white. And once again, it was kind of the same, the same situation where uh, all of this was orange. I wasn't going to be able to, <clears throat> not quickly, I wasn't going to be able to get skin tone and uh, everything else to kind of jive just because it was orange, uh, orange, orange cabinetry. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. This is the original. I applied several different presets and ultimately ended up on LXC05, uh, reduced the grain, up the contrast, um, reduced the shadows, or actually up the shadows, I'm sorry, and then up the highlights a little bit and reduced clarity a little bit. All right, here's the fourth one. I'll show you the original. So here's the original, and I cropped it in and leveled out the horizon. I think I was able to get use the rule of thirds here with the crop, and then I applied LXCN 04, and then made some temperature adjustments up the temperature shadows. I used a brush on the face. Um, adjusted the shadows a little bit, added a little bit more contrast, 
and then some shadow and then reduce the grain to zero. So I think that turned out nice as well. And lastly, here is, um, I think this one was LXC02. Oops, sorry. Yep, LXC02. So here's the original. The white balance was, was off. I adjusted white balance right here off of the, the gray from the, the stainless steel stove. So I adjusted that. And that's how we got to the white balance of there. I cropped it in. I applied the preset. And then ultimately shadows, exposure, <coughs> highlights, boost the highlights a bit, and then adjust the, adjusted the green. So that was LXCN. Um, I, I definitely think that the preset itself is worth uh, worth the money to purchase. Um, there, there are presets that I like better, um, but it's definitely, if this is kind of the look that you're going for, I think they're, they're great. Um, my favorite film emulation preset at the moment would probably be uh, Sven's presets, and then, which he also, I think, is uh, one of the, he's a contributor to looks like film as well. Uh, I just don't think he's, he does not sell his presets through uh, Tribe Archipelago. Um, but you can purchase his presets for about half the price of the LXCN, and I think they nail the skin tones a lot better uh, than LXC. And then LXCN, the skin tones got a lot better, but I still think that Sven, his presets are a little bit better than LXCN. So I hope this helps. I hope it helps you make a decision. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, and like I said, um, I'm sorry I just didn't have time to, to do a whole video and, and talk through the edits. But hopefully this will help you make a decision. But if you have questions, shoot me a message. Thanks.